So we've got a lot to talk about. We'll get started here in just uh, just a couple of minutes here. Give a, a few moments for others to uh, log in and to be notified that we are here. You're watching the Amber News Network. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Once again, my name is Pastor Charles Williams, and uh, I am the founder and the creator of the concept known and used all over the world today as the Amber Alert here in the United States of America, Amber Alert EU, throughout all of Europe, and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. This is an Amber Alert update, okay? The first update, we're going to share. Hi, Stacy. Uh, the first alert, uh, the first update we're going to share is an alert that uh, we put out on um, yesterday, uh, early yesterday morning. We uh, issued an alert out of uh, uh, out of Kansas City, Missouri, for a 15 year old girl, and um, that alert has now been canceled. Uh, reason that it has been canceled and the child is still missing. The reason that that alert out of uh, Kansas City, Missouri has been canceled is that authorities had uh, obtained new information uh, that suggested that this girl was not abducted at all. OK, she was not she was never abducted at all. And in fact, uh, according to some of the reports that I have seen, uh, is that um, there is some concern as to whether or not she was working in concert with the uh with the uh with the suspect who shot um her grandfather and um left him for dead the report that i read said that the uh that this girl's male friend uh shot the grandfather and they drug him to an area to die but for the grace of god the grandfather did not die he he is steadily improving and has improved much to the point that he has been able to talk with investigators and tell them uh, exactly what went on. And also, uh, the, the pair was seen uh, by some others who said that, hey, we, just, we saw them and uh, she wasn't being held against her will or anything at all like that. And so uh, it was with uh, information uh, uh, that it was with that information and other information um, that authorities decided to uh, remove the Amber Alert status out of that case out of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm sorry, out of Kansas City, Missouri. And um, that's the uh, update on that. The update on that is that they, uh, as of last report, as of the time of this broadcast, um, they are still uh, on the lam. They are still missing. And uh, but at this point, it is no longer an Amber Alert. Um, actually, what they may be running from now are warrants, okay, uh, for their for both of their arrests. And uh, you know, this is not the first time we've seen this. Uh, we we have seen we have seen uh, this, in this case, this was a 15 year old girl who, uh, and according to some accounts, set up her grandfather to be killed. Okay, a 15 year old girl set up her grandfather to be killed by shooting him in the back and um as uh and and you know we've had a we had a case last year out of gary indiana uh where i, I think maybe like a 12 year old girl who was the subject of an amber alert we thought at first come to find out the girl stabbed and killed her mother okay the girl stabbed and killed her own mother and um out of gary indiana so at, I think she was like 12 or 13 or something like that. So uh, this is not certainly not the first time that we've seen this, but, you know, it does happen in, to the law enforcement community there in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Um, thank you. Thank you for working with us. Thank you for supplying us the information that you did. And uh, sometimes we err on the side of caution. But, uh, you know, um, it's you know it's it's a police matter now it's no longer an amber alert matter it's a police matter and we wish you well uh in the furtherance of the uh of that investigation the second uh update that i need to bring to you um this afternoon is an update um on an ohio amber alert 
this morning. There was an Ohio Amber Alert that was issued uh, for two boys out of Urbana, Ohio, okay? And um, they, a non-custodial mother um, uh, uh, came by and took the boys uh, out of the yard, is my understanding. Uh, came by and took the boys out of the yard where they uh, where they were, and uh, and she uh, bolted with the boys. This happened earlier this morning, and uh, the update on that is that that alert now has been also canceled. The boys have been found and they have been found safe. Okay. However, the mother, the mother, uh, the non-custodial mother, is still on the run, and authorities. Uh, the authorities want your help in finding her. Here's here's her image right here. Okay, this is 39 year old Jamie Rollins. Okay, 39 year old Jamie Rollins. She abducted uh, her two sons. Okay, she abducted her two sons right here out of her uh, Urbana, Ohio. She abducted her two sons. She learned that the Amber Alert had been issued, and she dropped her sons off. Okay, she dropped her sons off, but however, authorities are, are still authorities are still looking for her. They want her, and here's the vehicle that they have put out in connection uh, with it. Okay, this is her. This is her car. Okay, it is a 2015 taupe color Kia Optima. Okay, 2015 taupe color Kia Optima. Ohio plates 347S. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 347YSL. Okay, Ohio tags 347YSL. And again, authorities are asking, um, authorities are asking anyone with any information you please to please call uh, the Urbana uh, Police Department or call 911 and let them know. <clears throat> what it is that uh that you may know and then our uh third and our last uh our third and our last uh alert update as many of you know um probably back about i believe it was maybe like wednesday wednesday of this week um i came forth with a secondary alert which is called the courtesy alert okay and uh we came forth with a courtesy alert for a uh, case that had just been dropped in my lap Wednesday morning for a 17 year old girl missing out of where it is we are right here in Madison Township Ohio okay and uh, this courtesy alert was for uh, 15 year I'm sorry it was for 17 year old okay was for 17 year old Lindsay Trosper here she is right here 17 year old Lindsay Trosper, right here out of Madison Township, Ohio. We did an, uh, a status check uh, on this uh, particular case pr just prior to doing this broadcast. And uh, the update in this case is that Lindsay is still missing. Okay. Uh, she is still missing. Uh, she has been missing since Monday. Okay. And so we need everyone to please continue to get this information out about Lindsay Trosper here in Ohio. This was put out under a courtesy alert because Lindsay's case did not meet the criteria of an Amber Alert, okay? And so uh, it's been several days now. It's been several days now. And um, we need everyone's help in helping to find 17-year-old Lindsay Trosper out of Madison Township Ohio. I shared with them that we were going to uh, put it out there again, give the people a status check, and again, uh, as the good people here in Madison Township do, um, y'all know how we do for one another, okay? Um, I'll tell you, it's, Madison Township is the closest thing to Mayberry RFD. It really is. <laughs> so, uh, but we need everyone's help. We need everyone's help. Hey, Derek, thanks for watching. Uh, we need everyone's help and finding 17-year-old Lindsay Trosper. So those are your updates that we have right now. And if anything, I can say as we prepare to close this broadcast, please pray for our children. Pray for our children. I don't know what's getting into the hearts 
of these children. I don't know what's getting in.